So planting trees 101. We've already prepped the hole and what we're looking for is a depth not any deeper than the depth that the root or that the tree is in the pot, this soil line here, and up to three times as wide as the pot. So I've already prepped the hole. Um, I've already put the soil in the wheelbarrow and what we've done is we've mixed the native soil which is this stuff with our improved soil which is this stuff this is what goes in our garden beds we have mixed that in our wheelbarrow already um, and this goes back into the hole so what you do is first off cut off the shipping stake this is basically just to hold the tree in place while it's shipped. You do not want to plant it with the shipping stake. Pull your tree out of the pot. And the first thing you want to do is take a look at the root ball. Look for any circling roots and pull them out. Don't be afraid. You're not going to hurt the tree. If you see a lot of roots, a lot of web of roots, take your knife, cut it down the root ball in three or four places. That will allow the roots to spread out into the hole and get the tree established a lot faster. Just give it a cross cut both ways and then all those, that more right there, a little deeper. Yep, there we go. And then we're good. Put your tree in the hole. Make sure it's somewhat straight. We're gonna fix that uh, if it's leaning a little bit, we're gonna fix it at the end, so don't worry about that. And as you can see, this tree is right at the soil line or slightly above, which is really important because you want that water to shed off of the uh, stem area. All right, next, we're gonna fill in the hole. When you're refilling the dirt in the, in the hole around the tree, it is really, really important to get that dirt mixed in really well with water to basically make a mud slurry. You don't want any dry spots around the tree. And what you're gonna find is as you get this dirt in the hole, the tree's gonna wanna float on you. So if you can get two people to help you, that's great. If you have to hold on to it and do it hand by hand, that's good too. But mixing this soil in with the water is really, really important. You don't want any dry spots around the root ball. Okay. That should give us a good start, so I'm going to get that out of the way. Mix some of this dirt in the soil. Now if you find that you got the tree put in there and it's a little lower than you want it to be, it's all right. Once you get everything mixed around it, you're going to be able to pull that tree up and down a little bit if you need to. So. Don't worry about it if everything's not perfect right off the bat. It's easy to fix. Okay, so it looks like we've got it where we want it. We've got that nice wet slurry from this point. Just continue filling around the hole with your good dirt. And then if you have any extra soil, whether it's the good dirt or whether it's the native soil, you can build up a berm around the tree. That will help hold the soil into the tree as we go forward and we're watering it. Give it a good watering in. Put on a little B12, which is basically transplanting, uh, transplanting solution. That'll give the tree a uh, nice drink of vitamins and food help it with transplant shock. What we're going to do next is we're going to stake it in. Green garden stakes. Find where that root ball is and go in just along the edge of the root ball. Pound the stakes down in. It'll go in pretty easy until you start hitting native soil and then give it a couple of hits. To make sure it's nice and sturdy because it's going to have some uh, pull on it. When we get the uh, tree tape on, it's going to have to withstand that. Okay. 
All right, so our tree stakes are in. They're nice and sturdy. Grab your green tape. Make yourself a knot on one side. You can tie this as many times as you want. If you're a Boy Scout, this is a perfect time to uh, try some of your knot skills. Take that tape, wrap it around the tree. Make sure your tree is at the right angle that you want it to be in the hole. Pull the tape so that you've got a little bit of tension on it and wrap it around the other stake. And then you can do your final tensioning there. This tape is very flexible so you can get a lot of pull out of it. Give it a couple wraps to make sure it's secure. And tie your last knot in place. Sometimes your trees are gonna be a little taller. Sometimes your trees are going to be a little heavier. If you don't feel that this is secure enough, because while you want a little bit of movement on the top of the tree, it helps make this stem stronger. You don't want any movement down here around these roots because those roots need to be stable enough to grow into the surrounding soil. And if your tree is constantly rocking back and forth, it's not gonna do that. If you need to, you can always tie another set of strings. You can tie them higher, lower, whatever fits. And there it is, how to put a tree in a hole. So painting trees, normally you would do this after the tree is in the ground. Um, you can do it before and after the staking and the um, tape to hold it in place, but you should do it. What we're using here is an interior latex. Um, it's a 50-50 latex and water mix. You can use interior and exterior, although I've heard not to use the exterior because it has fungicides in it. Um, it's totally up to you on what you want to use. You can use any color you want, but try to stay with a lighter color that will reflect the heat rather than absorb the heat. If you paint your trees with a black paint, then you get what you deserve. Um, so basically, I'm putting on a thick coat as I can. And this is basically suntan lotion for a tree. You want to do this every year or as needed because as your tree grows, it's going to increase in size this way and it's going to crack that paint and it's going to invite sunburn, bores, whatever. If you get damaged, you're going to get bores. So for a couple of dollars, even a couple of cents, you can buy this stuff in the rack at Home Depot, the uh, cast offs. Like I said, 50-50, paint anything a half inch or smaller. If your tree's already in bloom, don't do this. Do this while it's still dormant in the winter time or after it loses its leaves. And that's basically it. What we will do is after this gets in the ground, if I have any exposed trunk down here when I remove all these leaves, then I'll give it another coat. But there you go, painting a tree.